Calvin Picot, born on May 30th, 1966 in Brooklyn, New York. Grew up in the Red Hook Houses, one of the largest public housing projects in the United States. His early life was mirrored by violence, witnesses and home invasions at an age of two and accidentally shooting his brother and a friend at five after finding his father's handgun. But Coates' criminal activities began at 13 with petty thefts, such as purse and chain snatches on Manhattan 14th Street. By 14, he had acquired a handgun and participated in armed robberies, including a notable heist on the F train where he and his accomplices robbed passengers at gunpoint. At 15, Bacote was incarcerated at Rockers Island C-74 section, where he met and befriended other young criminals, including James Jimmy Henchman Roseman. During this time, he earned the nickname Calvin Klein from his fellow robber, Kelvin 50 Cent Martin, due to his preference for the designer clothing. At 17, he escalated his criminal activities by targeting drug dealers for robberies. Bacote also exploited local radio broadcasts from 98.7 KISS FM to locate parties and social events to rob. One such robbery involved him and 14 associates, armed with shotguns and handguns, who trapped attendees in the park and forced them to surrender their valuables. In 1983, Gavin Bouquet was in prison for four years for an armed robbery. He served his sentence at both El Mariah Correctional Facility and Coxsackie Correctional Facilities, which are maximum security prisons located in different parts of New York State. Upon his release in 1987, Bacote resumed his criminal activities, initiating targeting local drug dealers, traffickers in his neighborhood of Red Hook. Bacote held a meeting with 20 known armed robbers from his Red Hook houses, instructing them to rob all the local drug dealers and inform the victims that Bacote was behind the robberies. This move was a part of his strategy to establish dominance over the local drug trade, which earned him the nickname The Godfather among neighborhood criminals. Despite his stance against non-resident dealers, Bacote began selling crack cocaine in Coley Island. He soon moved his operation back to Red Hook and formed a partnership with Danny Diamonds, an established drug trafficker from Bedford Stuyvesant. Their collaboration began after Bacote, still on parole, had a violent altercation with a customer. Diamonds advised Bacote on handling the aftermath and then supplied him with cocaine. Their partnership quickly grew, leading to control of 33 crack sale locations in Brooklyn and expansion into several other states. In 1987, Bacote and Diamonds' operation was generating an estimated 250000 every four days. Bacote became known as his extravagant lifestyle, frequently changing his wardrobe and owning multiple luxury cars. During this period, he also mentored the inspiring rapper, Sean Jay-Z Carter. The partnership ended abruptly when Diamonds died in an auto accident. Bacote's associates were apprehended with two kilograms of narcotics during a police raid in New London, Connecticut. Bacote, one of the two who escaped the arrest, was later involved in a confrontation with confidential informer responsible for the raid. At a party, Bacote unknowingly danced with an informer's girlfriend leading to a violent altercation which Bacote shot the informant in the groin. Arrested in New York on an unrelated charge, Bacote faced multiple charges, including two counts of murder, five counts of weapon possession, and later a robbery charge. He was detained on Rockers Island, where he received additional assault charges. During this time, his cousin and her baby were tragically murdered by her boyfriend in a violent attack. Bacote was acquitted of most charges except for assault for which he pled guilty and received credit for time served. Connecticut prosecutors did not extradite him for the shooting, but barred him from the state for five years. Upon release, Bacot received significant gifts from his narcotic associates and quickly amassed a substantial fortune from drug sales. Bacot relocated to the Bedford Stuyvesant section of Brooklyn, where he continued his drug operation, making $100,000 within days and purchasing a new Lexus LS400. He befriended James Lil C's Lloyd, who later gained fame with the Junior Mafia. Four or five days after the acquittal, Bacote and his associates, including Sean Jay-Z Carter, were involved in a brawl at the Maryland party leading to charges of attempted murder, maiming, assault, and possession of a deadly weapon. Bacote allegedly bribed a police officer to have Carter's charges dropped. After Carter bailed him out and testified on his behalf, Bacote was convicted of assault and received a combined sentence of 25 years in prison. At the time of starting his sentence in 1991, Bacote was worth an estimated $28 million. Despite being under federal investigation, he refrained from contacting 
his former protege, Jay-Z, to avoid implicating him in criminal activities. During his sentence, Bacot maintained connections with influential figures like DJ Clark Kent. After his release, he forged a friendship with Akon and was hired in an executive role at Akon's label, Convict Music. Bacot also appeared in a music video, Soul Survivor, 